If I need to build a bridge, I'm going to choose certain materials. I'm going to choose ways of doing it. Well, if I've got to cross a simple little stream like this, maybe this very simple little bridge is perfectly fit for purpose. It's good for what we need to do. But let's say I had to cross a large chasm. Would wood still do the job? Well, possibly it would if we augment it with some steel cables. Kind of scary, but it can still do the job. So it's not really over-engineered. It's doing the right sort of thing. A lot of software I see is kind of built like this. As people start off, they kind of jerry-rig it together, and it's amazing it just kind of works at all. And so we just, we've been fixed to focusing on the function and not focusing on what else we need to do with this. So what sort of gives away what's going on here is like if you were to drive this car across the bridge, in this case, it would be creaking, it would be making noises, it would be kind of scary. There's certain pressures coming to burr that's kind of warning you that you're not doing things in the right way. So what I want to get into is talking about how we look at software, how do we design it in a way so that we know kind of what's happening.